really putting that, you know, that pressure and stress on that gluteus medius, also the maximus as well. And what you want to do is keep those toes pointed forward on this lateral box squat. So if your toes start drifting apart, you know, really going to ruin that form. A lot of people, you'll see people performing this and the toes are drifting apart. Really keep those toes pointed forward just like so. It's going to get that proper form and contribute things in line, but it's also working on that ankle mobility too. Once you reach this position, this leg somewhat straight can be slightly bent, but straight for the most part. And then you're going to be, of course, pushing off with this leg just like so. Nice wide stance, obviously wider than shoulder width. And you're just pushing that hip out. You're going to touch that box, slightly sit, and then push off into the starting position again. And of course, we're on some weight to it. So we're just grinding a kettlebell, but you can also utilize a dumbbell too in a vertical position, just holding it here and uh, wrap it out from there. So unilateral exercise, of course, working on one leg individually. Again, like we preach so much, is really working on any kind of asymmetrical problems in the body and really trying to key in on any weaknesses. So if you do have any weakness, or if you feel like one leg is kind of turning in other than more than the other on normal squats, you can really try to fix this and strengthen that gluteus medius and glute muscle and help support that knee on any kind of heavy pressing movements.